What's going on, Phenoms? We are back with another phenomenal remix. I gotta ask y'all a question. It's an important question. <clears throat> you know, are comedies the thing? Well, what, what's your favorite genre when you're watching movies? What's your favorite genre? Like I said, I'm not much of a movie watcher. Um, because it, it, there's a lot of underlying factors on why I don't like to watch movies too much. Um, I say a big factor is uh, I inherited a trait from my mother to, you know, I get sleepy. I like to take a nap. Um, but that's not all of them and stuff. But I feel like when the mood is just set right, I just want to I just want to fall asleep. You know, I feel like a movie is that background noise. It just just, you know, it's kind of like that fan in the background. You know what I mean? It's that fan. So yeah, what's your what's your favorite genre of movies if you were to watch a movie? I'd love to know that. Today we are reviewing um, it's a Hulu original called Vacation Friends. Vacation Friends. It is uh, directed by Clay Tarver. Uh, you may know him for. Uh, uh, directing and producing Silicon Valley and uh, The Black Knight with Martin Lawrence. That's uh, that's the uh, most memorable work I know. I know Silicon Valley has has a stamp on uh, pop culture, but uh, I know it from The Black Knight, just from, from what I know. Um, it's starring Little Real Howry, John Cena, uh, Yvonne Orji. She's uh, from... Uh, 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 Insecure. Y'all seen her. She's from Insecure. Meredith Hagner, Lynn Whitfield's in there, but you know, she in there, I think that was more of a, a, a accredited name. They said Ice Cube was in there, but I don't remember seeing Ice Cube. I don't remember seeing me. I don't really remember seeing him. Um, the premise, let me see here. The premise of the video, uh, the, the video, the film, is a couple meets up with another couple while on vacation in Mexico, but their friendship takes an awkward turn when they get back home. So, you know, it's not really a lot going on. You shouldn't have too many high expectations going in here when you see that your leading members are John Cena and uh, Little Real Howry. You know, um, these are definitely, and you know, I don't want to uh, categorize them as su supporting roles, but when you put a supporting role inside of a lead role, it's kind of, you know, are they, you know, some people can take that role, but I don't know if that's your man. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's that's the story you want to go with. Uh, so it starts up, you know, you can tell the little real Howry is a, uh, is a, uh, Lil Real have Why don't I just say Lil Real? Lil Real. You can uh, see Lil Real's character. You know, he's he's real stuck up and stuff. He's he like going by the book. He's careful. You know, he likes to plan stuff out. Nothing wrong with that. But sometimes you gotta be able to make make choices. You know what I mean? You you gotta think outside the box sometimes. But he's he's so hardwired and he just wants to go by the book. You know, it's the safest way. Um, but he, he he loves he loves his uh his girlfriend, which turns to be out uh, his fiance. So it starts out that they're, they're on this uh vacation in Mexico, and you know he's calling the manager up at the the, the five star hotel, uh, Marilio. And uh, you know, Marilio, you know, he he got a big ass mouth. Marilio just almost trying to spill all the beans on the surprise because because Rail, he's supposed to Marcus, which is Rail's character. Marcus over here trying to trying to make it a surprise that he about to propose to his girl. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, it's it's a it's a real typical movie, but it's just made for humor. I think they weren't trying to go too deep, they was just trying to make people laugh. Um, so they go all the way up to the suite, they open the door and, and Marilio says, let this be a, a day, a time that you'll never forget. They open that damn door and the whole damn suite is flooded. The jacuzzi from upstairs then got overfilled and it, 
it broke through and flooded the entire suite. Now all hell then broke loose. It's just going from here. This this is, you know, it's probably going up on uh, the anxiety of Marcus and all that. It's, it's just all bad. And, you know, um, see, personally for me, if something goes wrong and stuff, you know, yeah, it's a bummer, but I'm sort of like a go with the flow type of person. It's a bummer, but you can't really change the outcome of what just happened. So why dwell on it? You know what I mean? So it's kind of what's the next step? What, what we got to do? You know, we still going to have us a good ass time. They go back downstairs trying to find new hotels. They they can only find the damn uh, <laughs> the uh, the airport Best Western. And, uh, you know, that's when John Cena comes in with his girlfriend. And, and yeah, from there, it gets a little crazy. Um, they offer they they see the proposal and uh, when she accepts the proposal, you know John Cena and his girlfriend step in. Oh my God! Oh my God! We love you guys so much. That was so beautiful and all that. Hey, you know what? Y'all just go ahead and come in our suite. Y'all stay with us. Why not? Sound like an amazing plan, right? Who the hell is these crazy ass white people? I think that's going through their damn mind, but they didn't want to say that. Who the hell is these crazy ass white people? When I'm talking, I'm sorry, you know, my preference of comedy, it probably didn't work because comedy is subjective. Um, but it didn't work as soon as then. But but I bet you if it was around the audience then it was most likely targeted for, which was the Caucasus Mountains. Uh, the Caucasian audience, I think, I think they'd be laughing at it and stuff. And of course, the ones up in their forties and stuff. But um, yeah, they crazy as hell. They like going with the flow, just like me, but the, 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 to the oomph degree. They get on this damn sailboat. They they oof, they get on this sailboat. The rail gets permission to drive it and stuff. John Cena say, "Look," he said. He be offering some tequila and stuff. And then he said, watch out for the rocks. And he was like, yeah, I want some rocks. So you knew immediately then something was going to fucking happen to that damn boat. It was so predictable. The comedy, see, the, the, the thing about comedy, it got to be funny. And the only way it's not funny is if it's predictable. And it was predictable. They hit the damn boat. And he was like, no, man, it's good. It's good. Nothing ever shakes this guy. And I'm like... Nothing, dude. He crashed the boat. That didn't even. I mean, it pissed me off. Like I told you to watch out for. How you not see that big ass boulder? That's a nice boulder. I'ma hit the boulder. I did, come on, man. Come on. You saw the damn boulder. You hit it. You hit it. Anyway, they're just wild. They doing all this stuff. They go jet skiing. They having themselves a blast. They. Drinking tequila with cocaine around it. It's it's just it's a lot. It's a lot. They they having a, a, a sex party up and down. It's a lot going on inside the movie. They just want to make it seem crazy. Then you go back to uh, Yvonne Orgy's uh, family, and uh, she uh, she got some stuck up parents, some rich parents. Uh, Lynn Whitfield, and I can't remember the father's name, but he was the um, the senator in barbershop if that that shakes any heads um he didn't, he didn't put on a few he didn't put on a few too he got a bit around i understand you get old and the fried chicken starts to get a little bit more tastier the pork chops get a little better and the more tender i understand i understand but, but yeah yeah um they stuck up they don't like a little red. it's so typical i don't want to ramble on you know it's it's a lot going on they put a wrestling match. They was down in uh, uh, Mexico, so you saw some luchadores and stuff. Um, and John Cena said, anybody can do this. Ha ha, because he WWE, we know. Um, um, John Cena shot a bottle. There was an instance where he shot a bottle off Lil Real's head. Didn't even give him that. That was funny because it didn't give you a chance. Like, you knew he was going to do it, but it happened so fast. Like, <laughs> in the reaction from Real, which was, which sold. He was like, oh, you know, it, you got to see it. You got to see it. it was funny. 
Um, and then he was like, uh, Marcus, it's your turn. And then they cut to the scene to where, you know, there's a bandage on John Cena's head because he grazed him with the bullet. And, and you know, it was it, it was good. It happened like this. So, you know, it was it was funny. The joke was executed. But there wasn't a lot of that inside of the the film. It wasn't a lot of that um, for me personally. Um, it was just, you know, it was <laughs> dad humor, I guess. I, it was it was bland. It was bland. I didn't really expect much from the movie. I feel like the writing could have been a bit better, but the premise is been there, done that. You know what? I, you know what I mean? I just, yeah. uh, I don't mind doing these movies. I'm trying to do newer movies and stuff. The ones that we ain't seen, we'll do a re- rewind next time. I know I'm a little late. I saw two movies this weekend, but I was like. Let's 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 see this one. Let's let's try and see this one. This seems more a little adult friendly, so I'm gonna try that one. And uh, I regretted it. So I, I'm gonna be a little harsh here when I give the, uh, the critique or the uh, rating of this film. It's gonna have to be uh, one and a half stars one and a half stars yeah uh it just it, it wasn't hitting like that you know what i mean it was corny it was so corny it was so corny and it wasn't like good corny either like like okay i'll say it like this adam sandler that's a funny man and i feel like you know people view his movies as bad movies but i enjoy them i think they're really good this was just literally a bad movie i remember forgetting sarah marshall that was a bad movie, but it was funny. You know what I mean? This was, this was just bad. This was just bad. This was, this did not hit my guilty pleasures. Um, I don't regret watching it, you know, for curiosity purposes, but mm, I don't want to dwell on it no more. I'm going to come back with you at the end of this week. And this time it will be on time. I'm sorry about that, but I was like that movie that I watched earlier it just wasn't hitting like it was supposed to. But it was way funnier. It was way funnier. Um, and I'll probably do a, a review over that one because, yeah, I'm sorry y'all. that that movie wasn't it. That movie wasn't it. Well, this has been phenomenal reviews. One and a half stars. That's just what we settled it with.